So GoPro have just released their brand new Hero 12 camera. And if I'm honest with you, I kind of think GoPro are losing the plot a bit with their cameras. In this video, I want to talk about this new camera to see if it's even worth upgrading from a GoPro Hero 11. <sighs> I'm pretty tired of GoPros for here. I've used GoPros now for probably the last five years, six years of my video making career. In this last year, admittedly, I've actually moved completely over to Insta360 because I think as a brand, Insta360 are moving in a much more progressive direction than GoPro. Now in the early, earlier years, I do believe GoPro had a very competitive advantage. Pretty much to this day or in, in recent history, GoPro have been the leading makers of action cameras. You couldn't get any better than a GoPro. They're really easy to use. They shot really high quality. They were functional. They had a great shape. Everything about them was like exactly what someone like me who's into action sports and loves doing extreme sports and just documenting my traveling and adventures would want from a camera like that. But in recent years, I almost think GoPro have got a little bit lazy with their cameras. I watched the GoPro Hero 12 release video, almost felt a little bit deflated. You watch this video and as much as GoPro are trying to hype up this new camera, you can't help but feel that it looks and feels pretty much like a carbon copy of the Hero 11, which is the model previous to it. And you're kind of questioning like, should I spend this extra four or five hundred pounds, dollars on a new camera? Like, is it worth upgrading just to keep up with the Joneses? Is there actually substantial differences in the Hero 12? I'm not too sure about it. I'm gonna take a look at the specs and, and uh, <laughs> break down like what I can see here because it's not looking good. So let's look at the aesthetics to start with. The aesthetics of the camera, they look exactly the same. There is literally no difference. Other than the fact in the Hero 12, you get a splatter of blue paint, literally someone like someone has just thrown a paintbrush at the camera. Is it gonna make you get better footage? Arguably not, probably not, definitely not. GoPro say that they have managed to optimize how the camera works, so apparently you get longer battery life. Is it gonna be noticeable compared to Hero 11? Probably not, or it's gonna be very, very minimal. One cool thing though that GoPro's new Hero 12 does, which is a new feature that the 11 doesn't do, is you can pair this camera with Bluetooth microphones and earbuds. Whether you wanna use wireless microphones for shooting, you can do that. I guess that's kind of like a cool feature of this new camera, but is it a game changer? And should you spend all this money for a new camera, I don't think it's worth it. It doesn't have an onboard GPS, which is interesting because I think the Hero 11 had that. A lot of other camera brands do now. So that's kind of interesting if you want to track like where you are and stuff like that. If you actually look at the specs from the Hero 11 to the Hero 12, there literally is no difference. It's got the same sensor size, the same video resolution, the same photo resolution, the same battery size, it's the same size and weight as a camera. It's got the same waterproofing resistance. The lens is exactly the same. I know on the video GoPro are promoting that they have a new Max Lens mod, which is supposed to be different than their first version of the Max Lens mod. I don't know if it is or not. It doesn't look any different from the videos that I've seen. One good thing I do like about that Max Lens mod is how you can mount the camera horizontally, but then you can film vertically. So Anyone who's looking to use a GoPro to shoot vertical content for social media nowadays, GoPro cameras are great for that. That is one feature I do like. The design of the camera, the chassis, you would call it, it's exactly the same as the Hero 11. There is absolutely no difference other than that blue splattering of paint. Both cameras use the same Enduro batteries. Don't know if you're gonna see much of a difference in camera life, in battery life, sorry. Another new feature that GoPro are hosting is that the ability to sync the time code of multiple GoPro cameras. Admittedly, it's a niche feature but if you're working in a professional environment with multiple action cameras, it could prove to be a game changer for a very select few people. Like for the average Joe who's looking to get an action camera, there is no difference. There is no point upgrading to the Hero 12, I would say, based on that little niche feature. The Hero 12 Black benefits from a freshly redesigned menu layout, and we found it much easier to navigate than the Hero 11. One thing I have actually found is GoPro's user, user interface is fairly easy to navigate and use once you get the hang of it. So I don't know if, if the new Hero 12 is much more simple than it already was, or it's much smoother or faster to navigate around. That'll be one thing to test out. There's no GPS built in, so you won't be able to include things like speed or altitude overlays on your footage. The GoPro Hero 11, on the other hand, can do this as standard. Why would you want to upgrade a camera where they've taken a feature away from it? I kind of like the aspect of being able to have speed and altitude on your footage. It's kind of cool. Maybe it's a novelty or a gimmick, but some people really like that. Photo and video performance, they share the same sensor, they shoot the same resolutions and frame rates. I reckon if you had side-by-side -side comparisons playing, you literally wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I really don't think that 
that to an untrained eye, to most people will not be able to tell the difference between the two. One thing you can do on the new Hero 12 is you can shoot in log profile. So if anybody is out there wants to shoot a flat color profile and do a lot of color grading afterwards to personalize your videos, you can do that. But again, for 95% of people who just want to have a really vivid automatic color mode, this isn't gonna affect you whatsoever. My overall verdict, I personally don't think it's worth it at this stage. Maybe GoPro have something up their sleeve for later on in the year or maybe next year. Who knows, maybe we're gonna see an updated GoPro Max camera for their new 360 camera, that's what I'm hoping for. Right now though, if I personally had a Hero 11, I would not be upgrading to a Hero 12. I just don't see the difference especially in the new features that they've added and taken away. Unless you like blue splatters on your camera, by all means go and upgrade straight away and you can have blue paint splatters all over your camera. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are if you've got Hero 11 or if you're looking upgrading. I'll also put links below to Amazon if you wanna go and check these cameras out. I don't know about you, but I'm confused.